General Von Doom, video gaming enthusiast. This is a puzzle building game where you basically build machines to solve the puzzle. Is 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 that good enough for you guys? Does that explain what this game is about to you? No. Well, I guess I should just show you what it's about then, shall I? So here we are, we've got our little basic core we start out with, like in Reassembly and Star Made. So I'm just going to set this to the ground like this. My objective is to destroy that house just there. So I could just go this the easy route and basically build a vehicle with wheels on it. But I'm... Well, I like to build more complicated than that. More complex. And what's this? Half pipe. Low friction. Oh my god. They've added a new piece. I wonder what else there is. Sorry guys. I'm just gonna... Oh my goodness. Cogs. Cogs. There's cogs in the game and unpowered wheels. And oh my goodness. They really... There's boulders. Well, guys, the first thing we're going to have to build here is some sort of slide that sends the boulder to the house, I think. All right, let's begin doing that. Yes, this will be a lot of fun. All right, so I've got the base. Now I'm going to start building up higher. I mean, taller. Yes. Soon it shall rain boulders on the house. Yes. On the house. Because, huh. Boulders. Alright. Alright, where's the uh, half pipe? Yes. I could make this look way better than it is right now. But... For its purpose of just doing something like that, kind of. I know. I know how to make this go forwards. No, I don't actually. Damn it. What if, what if I, um... Ah! Here's an idea. Thanks for your brainwaves, everyone. Yes. Brainwaves. Right, where, where's the blocks? Yes, we all had the same idea to do this. And, and get rid of that boulder. Oh, it's an intersection. Well, screw you then. Uh. I know, I know. Do not fear, everybody. That shall work, right? No. Why would that work? That's just stupid. That's crazy talk. That won't work. What about now? No. Um. What about now? <laughs> of course not. You know what I need? I need to start again. Right. So let's put that there. And I I know exactly what we can do. Right. Where where is the piston? Pistons! There you are. Actually, I need a block right there before I put the pistons down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Oh, that should do it. And now for that thing. And basically place the boulder somewhere, I suppose. Oh. Yes! It's gonna destroy the house! Yes! Roll off my boulder! If that destroys it, though. Come on! Come on! Screw up physics! Oh, What a bummer. Alright, what I need to do is this. There we go! Alright. I know exactly what I can build with that, though. I can make better ballista or a better catapult yes and 
reloading mechanisms. So I've got to destroy this thing. Uh, well, before I start building new things, let me show you what I've built. Oh my god, why is all this? It's catapults and ballestas. I'm gonna get out my trebuchet though. Just to, uh, it's, it's not too complicated and it's not too simple. Look at that! It's got counterweights at the end and it fires a bomb, which I can now replace with boulders because that's a new addition since I played this. So now I'm just going to press L and lift off. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm sure I can hit it eventually. There we go. One windmill conquered. Yes. For my doomy empire, I shall conquer all. Oh. Well, I suppose I should just use the armor tank. I hate this level. It's basically drive around and not get blown up. And... And, and and not do that. Yeah. <laughs> the steering's a bit inverted, so I'm kind of like, oh, right, yeah, inverted steering. Of course, that that's that's a thing in this game. Oh. I've I've lost one of my wheels, guys. Somehow. And it's still moving. I conquered this zone though. Through my incredible skills, it's driving a vehicle to the other end of the map. Yes! Right, we've got all to conquer. Right, this time I'm going to start building something, I think. Right. Yes! So, the objective is to destroy the wall, and then destroy the two things back there. So, I've basically got to get through the wall somehow. And I know exactly how to do that. Well, there's multiple ways to do it. I'm going to do it my way, because my way is the best way. Because do me things. Right, let me see what else is in this game. Meh. It's all standard. I can't believe the added cogs, though. <laughs> Can I move that? No. Can I move this one? Wait, what was the controls on it? Up and down? Well, that's interesting. That makes sense, though. Oh, yes! We could make a, um... Oh, a friction... Ah, it's just gonna be so awesome, guys! Ideas! Right. Build. Build me a thing that can fire projectiles. And won't fall apart in the process, so I have to use braces. Alright. Now I'm going to put some swivel joints down right here. I'm going to connect them with that. So we've basically got ourselves a basic arm. I could have a add the half pipe to it. But I think you're adding... What? A plow? Oh, yeah, the plow. That's been there for a while. I'm going to have that. And we'll add a boulder. Yes. And uh, it's going to be stoof. I'm going to see what I can do with these cogs, because I haven't seen them before until today. So unpowered medium cog and a powered medium cog. Right. Let's see. I I don't know how I'm going to connect this though. But we'll find out. Yes. Also, let's just add this thing onto wheels for no apparent reason whatsoever. Right. That one needs flipping. There we go. And I think they actually both need flipping the other way. Right! Now, uh, what do I do with this? Does that work? No, not really. It can just look cool. I need to figure out how to use that thing. But for now, let's test this. Oh, I need, I need a counterweight on the other end. Alright, no problem. That's not a problem whatsoever. And... 
Counterweights, counterweights. See, I've been having a lot of fun on this game, but I've been playing Reassembly recently, so I've not been familiar with the recent additions to it. Oh, crap. It's being b blocked by the um thing here. Oh, oh dear. This thing's going to fall apart, isn't it? Aye, it is! Let's do that. Let's get rid of the wheels. Screw it. Does it need wheels? There we go. And... Oh. Hey, it works better now the boulder's not on it. <laughs> Alright, um... Ah. Yeah, those cogs are not working for me right now. I really want to find out how to use them. I mean... How do I use cogs? Love. I can't believe there's cogs, though. But I assume if I do this... Oh! If I do something like this... Yeah, see that? That's how you're supposed to use them. The bottom cog is powering the uh, top cog. And through that, you can do stuff, I suppose. Maybe I could build a watch. If I um, had the patience and the uh, super-powered super computer to do that. But I don't. Maybe one day. One day! Right, let's go back to the main base of the, uh, tr the car pult. Yes, look at it. It's awesome. I wonder. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> it's, it's too hard wondering things. Right. Now, now the swivel joint can go up here instead. And... Let's build the arm. And now let's build the, uh, the other thing. Yes, my grand master plan comes together at last. What well, soon we shall uh, rule the galaxy as noob and something. So my um traditional catapult or trebuchet. This is a trebuchet, by the way. It's just to place a bomb like that. It's basically a bit like that. And fire, and it's... Oh. Actually, yes! Yes! I don't need to destroy the wall. I just need to destroy the village behind it. And fire! It hit the tower instead. And fire! I, I don't have enough weight on the account weight to go over the um tower. Alright. Let's build it like that. I think that's too long. It is. How did I know it would be too long? What is this madness? Fire! It's... Wow. Actually, delete those two. Yeah, I'm just going to destroy the tower, aren't I? And not over it. Ah! Damn you, physics! Damn you. Well, there is also the um, other build of a Mongonel, which basically fires over the wall. The trebuchet is meant to fire at the wall. So, what can we do to build a Mongonel? A Mongonel. 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 So I'm going to have it so it flicks at the end, I think. Um, maybe that should built, be put back here. Yes. That might work. Get rid of the uh, other arm part. The extended part. So in my madness, I've built a double... Uh, a double trebuchet, also known as a mongonel. And let's see, where should I put the uh, springs though? Do they go there? 
I assume so. Let's place that back a bit. Alright, let's extend. No, no, not extend. I need the counterweights. Ah! Ah, that'll do. Uh, one more block each to see how it fares so far. That was built on the arm, stupid me. There we go. Right, let's see what happens. Ah. I didn't expect that. Let me just... Yeah. Ah. I should have known this would happen. What I need is more weight at the back, at uh, the front for now, uh, right, right now. And I need um, some sort of strain here. Uh, what can I do for that? What if I do this? Come on, come on, what are you doing? Why can't you lift up? Come on, come on. Ugh. Damn you. Once again, physics wins against me. But you haven't won the war. Right, so I think this 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 might be a bit too long. Let's extend the arm instead. Place them like that, of course. There we go, and yeah, that might have enough power. Let's do that. Excellent. And we're going to... Where is it? Quadratable Springs. Hey, go in there. There we go. Right, so we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Uh, stop it, archers. I'm trying to build a, a Mongonel here. It kind of works. Oh. Put the springs... There. But that's what happens. Huh. Interesting. Oh no, what have I done? I killed it. Hmm. <laughs> What if I do that? For some reason it kills it when I do that. I mean, it's fine right now. Look. Ah. We need to get rid of that and that one. Actually, just make it shorter. Fire. It's not flicking over, though. Uh, I'm making this way too complicated, aren't I? But it's a good introduction to the the uh, game, I think. Of course, I've been making way better machinery than this. Uh, screw it. Let's just um, load up my ballista. I like this thing. It's simple and effective. Watch this. Oh, crap. <laughs> watch this. Oh. I mean, watch that. Okay, um... Watch this instead. There we go. And now all I have to do now is retract my arms like that. Wait for the fire to uh, be put out. There we go. And all I have to do is tip over. Okay. <laughs> what else do I have? I've got this other one. This thing's more simple, but it works. Yes, look, it worked. And now it's on fire. And and it, it's burned up. Yay! Also got catapults. So here's my uh, basic catapult. Oh crap, I've zoomed in. So I've got that on a um, the thing. And it's got a greater range. Or maybe not. Whee!
but yeah, there's I've got all other tiers of the catapult as well. So here's tier two of the catapult. What does that do? Oh, I think it's longer range, maybe. It's out of bounds as well. I have to get rid of the boundary box for this one. Yeah, look at that. Fire, aim that right at that. Explosive. All right, fire away. Look at that. Oh, I'm on fire. And the highest tier version of my catapult is this. It's basically got a reloading mechanism before the, um, what was it called? The half pipe was introduced. It used the, um, the plow instead with pistons. So this is how it works. I fire the first shot. Uh, pr and then I uh, retract the um, the thing, and then I l reload and fire again like that. So in theory, it has three shots, but it likes to fire them off. I never got around to finishing this thing. In all my madness, but in all of my madness, I got this thing. Basically, four explosive bombs and blades on the wheels, which kills enemy troops, and it's armored kind of. And and it fires like that. Hey, at least it works. Don't judge. But it works better if I... Oh. But it works better if I do that. Kind of. Okay, it's kind of too heavy, alright? Don't judge me. But then I've also got... I've managed to master flying with the flying J. It's basically like a mosquito thing. A woodpecker, I suppose on wings and it has this counterbalance device on the bottom so if I do this it now goes forwards I'm flying over the wall and I've destroyed the buildings you gotta do anything against me yes the flying J sees all and we're gonna go backwards and now we're gonna go forwards again and, and no, do a nose dive maybe I gotta counterbalance the knife and retract and crash. Okay, enough of that one. What else do I have? Oh god, not the siege tower. It's the siege tower from hell. Alright, this thing lags you to crap. Watch! Watch as it lags. And the, uh, that's basically a bridge that's coming down on the wall to flatten all the troops. Unfortunately, you don't have any troops to siege the wall or anything. Yeah, I just thought it was a cool concept. I'm going to unload it now because it's just too laggy. And we also have the uh, awesome pulse that I named it that just explodes apparently. Amazing. Oh, it worked that time. But I can't actually go near it because I got no wheels. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed my little show off of all of my um machines that I've built so far. I will, like I said, be playing this uh with better machinery, I suppose. I'll be building much better machines with practice. I haven't played for about three or four days, and I've kind of forgotten it already because of reassembly which i will be playing more of shortly so do stay tuned and i'll see you all next time and let's the domi army subscribe today